About moving to Miami, Florida, but you're not sure what neighborhood to move in. What do I choose? What to look for in the neighborhood? Well, in this video, I'm gonna give you a full tour of one of the best neighborhoods if you're looking for a single family home, family friendly, great schools, great parks, amazing golf course, close to the water, and a very uh, small town feeling uh, in this community in Miami, which is rare to find in all of Miami. So, if you want to learn more about what it's like living here in Miami Shores, Stay tuned because we're jumping into it right now. Welcome back and if this is your first time to the channel and you want to learn everything there is to know about living, eating, working, sleeping and playing in Miami and the surrounding areas, then tap that subscribe button and hit that little bell so you can be notified every time we drop a new video. My name is Raymond Goedi Gozari and I'm a full-time Florida realtor and a certified residential specialist in the Miami area. And we get calls, texts and emails every day from people just like you looking to make that move. And we absolutely love it. So whether you're moving soon, 90 days from now, a year from now, make sure to reach out to us, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, DM us on social media, however you want to get a hold of us, days, nights and weekends. We got your back with making that smooth move to Miami, Florida. Alright guys, today we're going to give you a full tour of one of the best neighborhoods in all of Miami called Miami Shores. It's a very family friendly, 95% single family house, houses, a residential neighborhoods. We got waterfront properties on the west side of Miami Shores, great schools. You got a golf course, which I'm starting the video off right now, a called Miami Shores Country Club. Beautiful course. You'll see a lot of nature. You got a little a river and creeks and canals running through it. You'll see a lot of animals. A, don't pet the alligators if you see one. You see uh, iguanas fishes um, I think they've even seen uh, either manatees or like dolphins because this these waterways connect to the the intercoastal because just on the that street right there is Biscayne Boulevard just on the west side still Miami Shores and you have single-family homes and the water is really close to there but today I'm starting off at if you love golfing you have one right here in your neighborhood Miami Shores is a neighborhood where um, it's like a small town a vibe. If you live here, you'll get to know a lot of people here. They have a great tennis community, a golf course. Um, the schools are fantastic. You'll get to know if your kids are uh, being raised here in Miami Shores. You'll get to know everybody living here. Very safe community. Um, close. This is the northeast part, so you're close to the beach. You're close to the waterways if you like boating. Other great um, neighborhoods like Bay Harbor Islands, North Bay Village, Surfside, close to Sunny Isles. So if you like this part of Miami, the Miami Shore is definitely um, a neighborhood you got to look into if you were looking for a single family house. But I'm going to turn the camera on so you can take a peek of, of what I'm looking at. And we're going to go ahead and see some single family houses, which there are a lot here. And I'm going to show you where the water's at. You can see the views from the, the neighborhoods that have a water view in the intercoastal. And it does, Miami Shores has a mini downtown area. I'm going to go ahead and show you that little strip um, so you can get familiar and get a good feeling of what Miami Shore is all about. All right, so let's go. All right, we're going to start off with the residential single family house neighborhood that's right around the golf course because the golf course is right in the heart of Miami Shores. Surrounding it, you got great single family houses in all over Miami Shores. And right behind it, you have the tennis center um, to the north part of just adjacent to the golf course you have like a park and a water park for the kids see if I can get some video on that and um, single family houses just all over the place I'm gonna turn the camera around so you can see look at this one right here beautiful right across the golf course which is right there uh, you can actually enter the parking lot for the golf course Biscayne Boulevard is right behind me so I'm just taking a stroll down the neighborhoods. Most of the neighborhoods here are like this. You can hear the birds. It's very quiet and it's not that early in the morning. It's like midday. Uh, but all these neighborhoods are very peaceful, quiet. 
Yeah, the walkability is amazing. You have you can walk to the downtown area where the shops, restaurant, bars are to Biscayne Boulevard. If you want to come play golf, you could tennis center, and, and then on the other, on the west side of US One, which is Biscayne Boulevard, you have the single family homes um, by the water. Not all of them that side by the water, but the water's that way. So I actually love playing golf, and I've come here many times. Miami Shores is fantastic. A public golf course. You can become a member. Um, very good rates and you get discount on on plane and car fees and green fees um, but you can come enjoy the golf course it's gorgeous it's a little hard but it's not like impossible anybody can play it let's take out this other charming house in one neighborhood that maybe we can compare Miami Shores is uh, maybe Coral Gables Coral Gables is a lot bigger but when it comes to the single family residential neighborhoods and the style of homes with the big trees um, Coral Gables is more in the south, so Miami Shores is has its own vibe, but very similar uh, in a much smaller version. All right, this is a great example of just the feeling of Miami Shores and the houses. Check out that cute little home. A uh, great size. They're not really small. They're not huge. There's some that are bigger. That one's a lot bigger, right there, two story. And check out this one right across those homes. Um, but check out just the, the vibe. You hear the birds there's a lot of trees when a, when you hear the birds that means the, the nature in that area is good it attracts all these animals that love being with nature I got a smaller home right here to my right to my right two-story gorgeous home very well maintained so people who live here in Miami Shores really take care of their their properties and on the on the west side by the water you'll find a little more distressed homes older homes that people are buying and fixing up you can still find it in all of Miami Shores Another nice little home right there. This one's a little smaller, but still pretty cute. As you can see, some are elevated, which helps with the flooding, because the more you are to the water on the east side, the flood insurance is something you're gonna need, because you may be in a flood zone. So the architecture side, there's different styles, but in, in Miami Shores, you're gonna find that a lot of them keep the characters, might like Miami Modern, some are more Spanish uh, architecture. Check out the one to my right, it's really nice as well. And this street is actually a dead end. And let me see if we can connect it to the, the parking lot of the golf course. And it's all walkable. The busiest street you're gonna find is US 1, which is Biscayne Boulevard right there. And um, another main street is North Miami Avenue that runs parallel to Biscayne Boulevard. And that one goes right through downtown area. It's a small little downtown, old school downtown. Um, but that Miami Avenue goes all the way to downtown Miami so it's not a big boulevard but it takes you north and south a long way in Miami alright so we got to a little dead end I showed you a nice little section of this residential neighborhood all single family houses you're not gonna find many condos in Miami Shores most of it's gonna be single family homes so if you're looking for that this is a great option to choose so I'm gonna hop in my car and we're gonna check out another neighborhood and continue on with the tour. If you're enjoying these videos, make sure to smash that like button. Go ahead, smash it. There you go, and leave us some comments below. This helps us to better understand what you wanna know about so we can provide the best possible content that we can. All right. Here to my right, you have a water park splash pad for the kids with water slides, a little pool area surrounding it. Right now it's closed, but I'm sure it opens like the weekends or the afternoons or maybe only the summertime. And this is public. You pay, I don't know how much it is, but it can't be much. It's a Miami Shores community area right next to the golf course. So it's fantastic. And right here you have a little dog park. So this little area that it's all connected, you have, it's called Wild Waters Aquatic right here and it next to it it has a, a bigger pool for adults and a little dog park and it connects to the parking lot and for the golf a country club all in the same area so Miami Shores is very community oriented it's established a long time ago the golf course been here forever and so it's got that small town vibe like I mentioned earlier so let's go check out more homes and then we'll end up at the little downtown area Alright guys, we are on 96th Street, 
just on the west side of US 1 Biscayne Boulevard. Just wanted to show you the neighborhoods, uh, neighborhood on this side, all single family homes, like I mentioned earlier. Check out this home here to my right, beautiful, a European style Spanish architecture. And still, you have sidewalks, still, you have a lot of luscious trees, big trees. It's, it, if you can feel, I, I sense where I'm at in Miami, I guess I've been here a while, but it just feels and smells in the air. Like you're close to the water, but that old part of Miami, because uh, Miami started more on the east side, expanded west. So you're going to get a lot of that um, style in the neighborhoods and in the houses. But this is a very quiet neighborhood. This street is a little busier at 96th Street. It, you, there's a street light there on US 1. So you can take it west, but it doesn't go anywhere because it dies all the way there in the bay. And I'm gonna take you there so you can see uh, where the neighborhood meets the water. Cute little home right there as well. That one looks like it hasn't been remodeled yet, but it looks like in very good shape. Got another one over there. And so as you can see, the, the neighborhood here is really nice. Uh, the schools are on the other side of US 1, on the east side. You got a high school, elementary, but if you go to greaterschools.net, it's a great resource to find schools in different neighborhoods. Aside from reaching out to us, we can give you more insight, but at least it's a good start. Because I know moving to a new city, especially in Miami, is overwhelming. First of all, you have no idea what neighborhood to choose. If you want to be close to your work and you're already coming with a job, it makes it a little easier because um, you know where you're going to be working at. If not, you have a lot of options, then you got to find a way to narrow it down. And I hope these videos help. They help to narrow it down by giving you as much video and footage and information on these neighborhoods um, because Miami is very diverse. So you want to make sure you pick the right neighborhood. If you pick the right neighborhood, Miami is going to be awesome, a great place to live. If you don't, you're not going to like it and you probably will move out right away. So it's very important before you pick the house to search for the neighborhoods that you want. Then after that, picking the house is a lot easier. That one's pretty nice as well. This looks like maybe in, I saw a sign there, maybe it's vacant and they're gonna demolish it, I don't know, but it's still a cute little European style. Check out that one right there. Gorgeous one story in sort of not completely modern, but like sort of Miami modern, Florida home. They kept the same look with the new tile, flat roof, the new driveways, very nice. I guess check out how quiet it is right here, 96th Street. These are the roads that go through the neighborhoods. This one goes all the way down to the bay. There's like a little park area where you can walk, ride bike, just enjoy the nice breeze. And you get a beautiful view of um, all the condo buildings in Bar Bay Harbor Island, North Bay Village on the beach side. So let's go, I'm gonna hop in my car. I can walk, but yeah, let's go ahead and walk. That way you can see more houses. All right guys, I'm gonna continue walking in this neighborhood so you can see because this is a very good example of how the houses and the neighborhood is throughout all of Miami Shores. And uh, we're gonna walk all the way to the water so you can see hey, what kind of views you get from here. And even if you don't live right on the water, these neighborhoods, you can walk over there. There's a little area where you can sit down and enjoy the views. Check out these homes. This is like an old Miami modern style. Um, and they've just maintained it really well. That one has like a little curved corner. Really cool looking. And then you got like a, like a ranch style, European style with the style, style with the Spanish. Uh, another nice home right there. So these, these homes, there's sidewalks in between. Um, the block before had street parking where you can park on the street as well but most of these homes have driveways or space for a driveway and since you're living right literally on the water you're always going to get that breeze even in the summertime when it gets hot is a little secret that when you're close to, well, not a secret, but in the summertime when you're closer to the water, you get that summer breeze, so it's it's cooler. You don't get that that hot. You still it still gets really hot, but if you're more inland, you feel the whole the heat a little different and it, more humidity, more muggy. It's a 
very peaceful neighborhood um, and it's pretty much like that throughout all of Miami Shore. So we're almost there. I'm gonna turn the camera around and I'll see you at the, the bay. <laughs> We made it to the end of 96th Street, with, which meets North Bayshore Drive. It's sort of a dead end right there, but it goes from there and it curves all the way by the water. It goes in a little bit and then it comes back out eh, through these neighborhoods. But check out these views. This is the neighborhood we were in. We came down 96th Street and runs right into North Bayshore Drive. Beautiful views of that over there is Bay Harbor Islands, which takes you a little bridge. They look like two little lungs if you look at it from the top. And it goes right into the part of Miami Beach where you have Surfside to the south, which I've done videos on. You can check it out. And you have Ball Harbor Islands, the adjacent town, the village of Ball Harbor Islands on the north side. So, and if you want to go to the beach, all that area, that's all of North Beach as well. And you have two ways to go. You can take US 1 to 123rd Street, make a right, and it takes you through Bay Harbor Islands right into Surfside Ball Harbor. And you can go to the beaches there. Or you can go US 1 to 79th Street, make a left going east, and it takes you right into North Beach, it's called. <laughs> some waterfront properties all the way there at the end but uh, the neighborhoods here have a street a little walkway you can walk by very peaceful um, right by the water and at nighttime this is beautiful because you see all these condominiums lit up at night and right on the water so it's a very nice scene so if you like that quiet neighborhood and you got to be on the water because I know a lot of the suburbs in Miami are more inland and if you like that style of suburb, but you want to be close to the water, then Miami Shore is definitely a great option. So let's keep moving. I think I've shown you enough houses so you can get an idea of the neighborhood. So let's go check out the downtown area so you can see what's going on over there, all right? <music> Miami Shores and you love these houses but you need waterfront property because you want a boat or you have a boat check out those over there that's a dead end but you have to go through another street in this neighborhood and those are beautiful single-family homes with right on the water with a little dock you can have your own boat and I'm sure they have pools in the back but beautiful let me turn the camera on so you can see what I'm looking at She's a roller coaster. Oh, she's a flame. I'm burning up inside, but I can feel no pain. I won't. This is sort of like a recreational activity park where there's a soccer field, little baseball kid, a field for the little kids, volleyball court, there's tennis courts over there I'll show you. So it's like a mini recreational area for the kids and still you got single family houses right around here, all around there. And there's a train track that goes by there. On that side you got more single family houses so it's a neighborhood filled with single family houses and then parks in between schools golf courses all that it's funny because i helped a client move in one of these houses there in the in the corner here mammy shores and close by is the downtown area so if you live by here you can actually walk so let's continue so i can show you more mammy shores and there will be no lonely nights baby if you let me try i give you what you want guys I made it to the little downtown historic downtown of Miami Shores it's very small a few blocks from 103rd to like probably 97 98 
uh, on Northeast 2nd Avenue, which is the street that you see right here. Behind me you have the library. Um, across the street you have like Village Hall right here. And uh, this is sort of uh, the beginning. If you go that way, it's going down north. Uh, different neighborhoods. Uh, El Portal is a bordering neighborhood here. It's a pretty good neighborhood as well. So I'm just gonna walk a little bit. Uh, there's a couple office buildings here, but I'm gonna walk a little more so you can see the outdoor um, restaurants, bars, shops, uh, outdoor seating, so there's trees, easy parking. Again, it has that small town feel, uh, so you don't feel the office, um, so, so you don't feel overcrowded. You got a, the police station right there, and then you got single family homes all over both sides, over there, north, I'm sorry, the east and the west. I got some video clips of some schools and I wasn't talking around it so you probably don't know which one it is. There's one called uh, Mammy Shores Day School, really good school as well. And, right, Mammy Shores Elementary. You got a charter school, I think it's uh, the Hawks. Uh, you got Barry University just on the north side of North Mammy Beach. This is a, a bordering uh, Mammy Shores. Um, but great schooling, that's what attracts a lot of families here, schools, safe neighborhoods. Uh, here to my right, I probably have lunch there later, it's called Tinta y Café. Right there, they have one in Coral Gables, Little Mom and Pop, they open one up in Miami Shores, random, the only two spots. Uh, great sandwiches, Cuban coffee, espresso, and small, intimate. restaurants we passed by there with outdoor seating very nice you have a uh, Pura Vida which is a very popular I'm sure you've seen it in other videos Carrot Express but that Pura Vida is very healthy eating and every time I do a video they I show it they're in great spots Miami Shores you got one in Surfside, Coral Gable, South Miami and they, they put it in really good locations Bank of America, check out that old historic building, probably been there for a while. You got Starbucks here in the corner. And now I'm a little on the south part of the downtown area. You got a, like a beauty salon for eyelashes. The bank right across the street. And then you got a subway here. Smoothie Express here to my right. And you got Iron Sushi right there on the right. And T-Mobile in the corner. And that's about it. That is your little historic old school downtown area. More like a main street instead of a downtown. And then right here on 94th Street where downtown begins. You have like a little open area. We are together. Again, we always stay this way. And how I want to build my whole world with you and no one else. And how I love you. Hope you've enjoyed the video of Miami Shores. Miami Shores is a great community. If you're looking for that small town vibe in Miami and you want a single family house, this is uh, definitely a good option to choose if you're gonna live in the north part of Miami, especially the northeast parts. So um, remember the number one criteria when moving down here is choosing your neighborhood. And when you reach out to us, we're gonna ask you what is your lifestyle, what do you like to do, where are you gonna be working at? So we can try to determine what is the best neighborhood or neighborhoods for you and your family. And once we decide on that, it becomes a lot easier. We start house hunting, that's the fun part. And we choose in that neighborhood or those neighborhoods that we choose. But the only way we can help you out is if you reach out to us, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, however you want to get a hold of us. Days, nights, and weekends, we got your back. We're making that smooth move to Miami, Florida. And until next time, hasta luego. Thank you.